What is up, everybody? It's your man, e Manny Manual, and I have not said that in a very long time, and uh, and I've not made a video in a long time, or a video that people have been able to see. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, or if you're not familiar with my channel, let me start with that. My name is Emmanuel. I am 21 years old. I'll be turning 22 this April 13th. But in this video specifically, I'm talking about how to make a content marketing strategy in 2019. But before I dive into that, before the people who've been watching me, you've probably seen me post a lot of supplement videos. You've probably seen me post marketing videos. Kind of a little bit what I, I do is I love working out. So that's where the fitness videos come from. And then I also love digital marketing. So I get the opportunity to help business such as um, restaurants, beer gardens, chiropractors, etc., and help them on their social media. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing content. Um, I've, like, I've written it down already. So goal is to be doing one video a week. Um, so one every Monday, that's kind of like my goal. Every Monday to be putting out a new video and planning them out and really doing them. So I'm excited. Hope you guys keep me accountable. And let's get into the video. All right, so how to make a content marketing strategy in 2019. Um, so specifically for businesses or for if you're not a business and you want to help businesses with this, um, how primarily right now that I'm working with some restaurants is that every week we have content going out five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, and so the content marketing strategy for that is that we're using a lot of repurposed content. Now what repurposed content means, that is content that's already been posted by people who've gone there and tagged the location. And so therefore we take that content, change the description, describe it a little bit more, as well as make sure you're giving a shout out to the picture, pe people who took the pictures um, on Instagram, and then as well putting the hashtags in and then putting that content out. We're coming to find out that that content is working really, 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 really well, just because it's more organic. Um, and it might, of course, some of the pictures, we make sure it's good quality, but some pictures, it might not be like amazing, extreme quality. Um, but it's good just because you're giving a shout out to your customers and they're able to see uh, more about the business and new people also about to see it. So uh, uh, one strategy that I would definitely give is that if you're on Instagram or Facebook or wherever on Yelp or Google is really look for people who are posting content um, on there and be able to repurpose it. That is a really, really easy thing. We have some clients that we don't even take their pictures. Like we don't send photographers to go take their pictures because we have some people who literally t who have pictures taken at their business at least 10 times. So that's a big thing. Um, just checking out and using your repurposing content. Um, but for your content marketing strategy, it depends on what business that you're doing. But if you're, let's say you're a chiropractor, which is my niches that I love working with, or dentists or chiropractors, is that you get a topic. So of course there's so much, like marketing, there's literally so much that you can talk about. Like there's Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing, and then with that, there's more stuff. But how do, what we try to do is that we try to focus on a topic, either on a month, and then we'll make content around that. So for example, um, the topic will be, let's say if it's chiropractor, so we'll take a CrossFitter, right? CrossFitters, I do a little bit of CrossFit, I work out every day, but I'm functional. Anyways, um, so CrossFitting, so you might take CrossFit as a topic for this month, and then the videos that you'll make will surround CrossFit. You know, how CrossFit can, you know, how chiropractor, chiropractic care can help CrossFitters. You know, three tips on, on you know, stretches to do to, you know, to make your workouts better. And then you basically base your content ahead. So that's kind of like freely planning out your content just because it's hard for some people just to sit down and kind of, you know, talk about what they want to do. Or some people, they say they want to make videos. I'm one of them. They will say they want to make videos, but they don't have really written down what they want to do. Um, so that's the whole purpose of really like a content marketing strategy in 2019. Um, and then also by using that is, is just posting it across different places. We have Facebook, there's YouTube that you're watching here, Instagram, Instagram TV. I feel like Instagram TV is definitely going to be a huge thing this year. Stories as well too, and just Instagram keeping on pushing just because, I mean, just social media in general, people are literally going from nowhere to becoming figures. I mean, like, like a world record egg, no neck or, uh, big out the guy, the guy with the big neck, guy with long leg. Um, to Shiggy, the guy who did with the In My Feelings dance challenge, so with the Kiki. So it's like social media is amazing just because of the content that's really being able to come out. Um, but at the same exact time, you also have to make sure that you're grabbing people's attention. Um, and so that's that's really how it is with content marketing. It's, it's different for every type of business. Um, you just necessarily have to find out what topics can I talk about? What topics are surrounded in my business? If I'm a restaurant, you can talk about 
how you know how to find a restaurant like how to find a restaurant that has five star reviews or online but it's necessarily finding a topic and then being able to dissect that topic into more pieces instead of just doing one video talking about with the crossfitters instead of doing one video talking about crossfitters you can make four videos either for one every week for a month or you might even have like a two month process where you might be able to do that um so again how to plan a content marketing strategy in 2019 is making sure you have a topic right so topic step one that you can talk about step two is taking that topic and dissecting it and making it to four little topics a little micro micro little topics so you know how to's um five steps you know three things those are the little tags you want to use three things crossfitters should know when before they're working out you know um 10 tips one tip that's really kind of dissecting that and then after that um when filming it or typing in or whatever that you're doing for example you might see a lot of videos of me with this red shirt is kind of filming everything in bunches so then once you edit it you have videos across so for example my content marketing strategy with this youtube is that i plan on filming four videos sitting down at one time and then after that I have four videos and I don't have to worry about filming again for the whole entire month. So again, my name is Emmanuel Kamal. That is how to plan a content marketing strategy in 2019. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you'd like to see in the future. You've got some great stuff in the future. Um, that's pretty much it. So I will catch y'all later. Bye.